The first meeting of those in charge of Al-Qaf affairs in the GCC will be hosted in Kuwait this week. On the agenda, proposals to unify efforts across the bloc, the sponsorship of Al-Qaf ventures, and boosting cooperation and expertise in the field. Meanwhile, the University of Wollongong, Dubai has entered into a partnership with Dubai's al Kaf and Miners Affair Foundation to offer scholarships to young people from disadvantaged backgrounds. Noni Edwards was there today at the launch. Today's memorandum of understanding sealed a long-awaited deal. The partnership will see two students under the care of the al Kaf and Miners Affairs Foundation being granted full scholarships upon gaining entry to the University of Wollongong basically giving us two free seats for our minors, which children who have lost their parents or one, uh, basically to, <clears throat> to continue their education and fulfill their achievements, uh, 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 this incident through their education through Wollongong University. So by offering scholarships, it's sort of an open demonstration that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter what background you come from, you can succeed in sort of university and sort of achieve everything you want to achieve. The MOU was signed in the presence of the Deputy Leader of Australia's State of New South Wales, who said this is just another example of successful partnerships between his state and organisations in Dubai. Look, it's terrific to see uh, University of Wollongong Dubai and also ORCAF uh, get together uh, in terms of the scholarships that will be offered uh, to, uh, to young uh, orphaned people in the region. Um, there's a, there's a long-term benefit, I think, uh, in terms of the goodwill will involved in this. Mr Al Reyes says goodwill like this has a multiplier effect amongst corporate donors in the community. One, as we, we can see and feel the corporate social responsibility of different organisations within the community. And second, it's a stepping stone for the others to see this and follow this. Third, it gives us a great... Uh, opportunity to put more kids into school. And there are a whole lot more who need that assistance. The foundation currently has 2,650 orphaned and abandoned children in its care. As the UAE's oldest private university, UOWD has a long tradition of academic diversity. I think we have a belief that, uni that university education is for everyone. And I think that's irrespective of race, colour, background, uh, or anything like that. And it's often, it's, it's often the economic issues which stop people sort of going to university. And these 200% scholarships provide that economic um, stability. The first two scholarships will be awarded to commence studies in September this year, with two more awarded each year after that, all fully funded for the duration of the undergraduate degrees. Noni Edwards. Emirates News.